Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install mods for Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. It's nearly been two years since I published my original GW2 modding tutorial and over that time a number of things have changed that have affected the process. With that in mind, I decided that a new 2022 remastered version of this guide was appropriate to make sure you can get mods up and running as quickly as possible. In this video, I'll be taking you through everything you need to know step by step providing all download links in the description and answering any questions you have in the comments below. So let's get started. Okay then, so before we do anything, let me take you through everything you're going to need. So number one is a PC. Garden Warfare 2 mods only work on PC, they will not work on console. Number two is the game itself, Garden Warfare 2. Number three is a Discord account. This is important when we come to install both the mod manager and the mods themselves. And number four is a program which will allow you to open archive files such as WinRAR or 7-Zip. These are very easy installs, so I'm not going to go through it fully. Just click on the link in the description, download the file and run it. The wizard is straightforward. So once you have all of those things checked off your list, you can proceed to the next step downloading the Frosty Mod Manager. The Frosty Mod Manager will house all of your mods in one place and is the piece of software you will need to open the game from whenever you want to use mods. So in the description you will find a link to the Frosty Tool Suites download page where you will be presented with three options. You're going to want to select the one labelled Alpha. Unlike the other two buttons, the one you're going to press is the one that says Discord, hence why you need a Discord account. So click on this big green button and Discord will either open in your browser or in the program itself. You will then see the alpha releases channel of the Frosty Tool Suite Discord server. So scroll down to the bottom of this page and you're going to install the latest version. At the time of recording, it's the Frosty Editor 1.0.6 alpha 5. There are a bunch of different links in here but the only one we're bothered about is the mod manager one. So click on this link and it'll take you to the file on Google Drive. You might have to log in with your Google account if you're not already signed in. Then click the download button in the top right hand corner and click download anyway. By default this file will have likely been saved in your downloads folder unless you've specified otherwise and this is where you'll need WinRAR or 7-zip to enable you to unpack the file. Before we do that however, you need to make a new folder for all the Frosty Mod Manager files to live in and this can be created anywhere. For now I'm just going to create a folder on the desktop called Frosty Mod Manager. So copy and paste or drag the archive file into the new folder you just created. Head into the folder and right click the frostyeditor.zip file and select the extract here option. This will take a couple of seconds and after it is done you will have a bunch of files now in your folder. You can now delete the .zip file as you no longer need it. Next you need to run the Frosty Mod Manager executable file or frostymodmanager.exe. Now just a quick note, if you can't see the .exe or .dll at the end of your files, either just double click the file with the M icon or what you can do is go to view and tick the box that says file name extensions. You will then be able to see every file extension. Also, if you're having trouble with opening the file, make sure to run the program as administrator. To do this, right click the file and select properties, go to compatibility and make sure run this program as an administrator is ticked and then press apply and OK. So once you have double clicked the executable, this configuration screen will appear. So this configuration is basically asking you to locate your Garden Warfare 2 game executable file. The easiest way to do that is to click scan for games and it should automatically find Garden Warfare 2 and probably the other shooters too. However, if this doesn't work, click new and find your game file. Depending on your PC setup, this may be different, but you want to go into the drive where the game is saved. So for me, it's in the A drive, but for you, it could be the C drive. Then origin, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2, and you'll see the file called gw2.main underscore win64 underscore retail. Alternatively, if you are struggling to locate it, you can just do a direct search for the file name or you can open Origin, go to Origin in the top left hand menu, click Application Settings, then click Installs and Saves and it will show you where all your Origin games are installed and I'm sure you can work it out from there. 
So once you have found the executable, select it and choose open. The game will then pop up in the Frosty Mod Manager menu and you want to press select. You will then be greeted with the program and it should be blank on both sides. Moving on to installing mods. So to install a mod into the Frosty Mod Manager, you need to first download a mod. In the description is a link to the PVZ Frostbite modding Discord server. So click on that link and in Discord, you will have access to the server and a whole range of different mods. So in Discord, go to the mod server in the left-hand menu bar and head down to the mods category. And here you can find a ton of mod channels to browse. So have a look and install any you like by clicking the download link to download the mod and make sure you save it somewhere you can find it. Other places you can find mods include the Garden Warfare 2 Nexus site and some YouTube modders may include direct download links in their videos. Then head back to the Frosty Mod Manager and we're going to install the mod. So in the top left hand corner select the add mods option and find the file you have just saved. The mod will then appear on the left and if you select it the description of the mod will appear on the right. To enable your mod, just double click on it in the left column and it should then appear on the right. Just make sure the checkbox is ticked. Now we are ready to launch the game, but just before we do, you need to make sure you are logged in and have Origin running, else it won't work. Once you've checked that, you can press launch. When you do this, be aware the game will take longer to load than it normally would, but don't panic, that's only because mods are being applied to your game. The load time will depend on your PC specs. Once the game loads, you can then check to make sure your mod is working. As you can see here, I can now access lots of custom variants. So that's everything you need to do in order to get mods working in your game. The final thing to say is that 90% of mods nowadays have multiplayer locks on them, which is a good thing. Players using mods online has been a consistent problem in the PC version of Garden Warfare 2, and it just ruins the experience for people who want to enjoy the vanilla game. Basically, the main rule with mods is just don't use them online, but other than that, you can download and use mods to your heart's content. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. Let me know what you thought of this tutorial in the comments below, and if you have any questions, I'll do my very best to answer them. But other than that, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, turn on notifications, and if you want to support the channel further, check out my Patreon page by clicking on screen now through the link in the description. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.